Do you, Mr. Sim, take future Mrs. Sim to be your wife in this beautiful place? I do. And do you, Mrs. Sim, take Mr. Sim to be your husband in this beautiful place? I do. You may now kiss the bride. Oh. Hooray! Nice. Hello everyone and welcome to my round of Skyline 6. I am so, so very excited. Um, but the first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to take a first person walk through just a couple of the places that the builders have gone before me. So I want to start off with this amazing castle, The Cities by Stephen Built, and just give a nice first person view of what it looks like. I mean, could you imagine walking into this? So beautiful. The little details, cannons. I love the way that the fire reflects off the stone. Love the cherry blossoms. All this historical architecture is such an amazing addition to our city. I am a huge sports fan and I love the details of the sports area here. Soccer stadium, as I would call it, or football stadium, as it would likely be called in Europe. Um, all these places that people can tailgate. I can see if it's a sold out game, let's say it's a championship game, having large screens out here and it would be a watch party. But everyone inside is cheering. There's all these food places. All of the tailgating out here would just be electric. And I think that this is just an amazing little area that would be owned by the stadium, run and operated, and all the events and everything that could be run here would just be top notch. So for my build, I've decided I want to make a destination wedding venue, a venue that um, you fly to this area, you take a train to this area, you drive to this area, and you are located there for the entirety of the wedding, the wedding party, the guests, everyone stays at the venue. I want to have a huge castle and it's going to have a small little village, everything all built in. So where I'm at on the map is we have down here where Elk Park, Elk Heights and Holly Park is, that is Flybox's area. Right here is Stevens area where you have Dog Valley, Lord Kevin of the Dog's Castle. My build's gonna be up in this area. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to connect a road from this highway over next this train bridge all the way across. I'm gonna build some small little houses, some little villas, for lack of better words, along the water line. And then I'm going to run a bridge and some roads up here and have a nice hotel up here. Hotel I'm thinking about using for this build is the Heritage Hotel. I think there's a beautiful castle. I want it kind of up in this area. And I think I'm ready to get started. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. Let's get going. Okay, so now that I've done the general outline with the rural road, I'm going to upgrade it to this bridge, but I'm going to force it down so I get that nice cobblestone lined parkway. So I smoothed everything out a little bit. I also went ahead and made this a district with a park. Uh, and so now let's head up here and get everything ready for the castle. I'm gonna start by flattening out a little bit of the terrain. I don't want it to be too flat, so I am gonna edge it a little bit, but I do wanna give 
room for the castle. I am also going to remove all of the trees to save some nodes. Keep our game sped up. Alright, so let's go ahead and put in our castle. I'm going to use this building control. So I want no flattening. And I want it on the ground so I don't have to have a road to start. And I think... As much as I would love to have it facing the waterfall when you walk out. I think having some rooms I would face it instead is going to make more sense. And then the way that I want the road to come up, I need it under. Like, look at this castle. This is so beautiful. It works out great because it's a hotel. I just love that it's on a hill. I love where it's located. Right by the water. Got the train line there, and then you'll have the city, the villas down there. Those will all be one large district. I'm actually going to extend the district that I painted. That way, it includes this, and this would be owned by one family or one company. And basically, when you rent it, you get this whole area. Of course, it would be run and you wouldn't just be free roam. But I like the idea to have this whole venue. I'm gonna extend this down because I want to make that terrain nice and tapered down so I can have some vineyards. we go look at that love it love it i love it i love it i am gonna remove some of these trees we'll come back through and we'll detail this in a little bit so now it's a matter of connecting this castle down to here there's two options for what i can do first option running everything with this road a little thick but I think it'll look really nice so I'm gonna do that the other option was making everything this rural road which is also nice in its own way I wouldn't be surprised if something like this had a rural road but I just think that is not quite what I'm going for Okay, so I added the road. Uh, I'm gonna make some small tweaks so it's a little bit smoother. Uh, and I'm gonna smooth out the terrain, but I wanted to show you this bridge because I think that that's a pretty bomb way to get up to a castle is through this bridge. Train's going underneath, view of the water, the view of the train. The terrain is pretty cool. I'm gonna go smooth this out. I'll bring you back after I've connected this bridge. I'm just interrupting my episode of Skyline 6 European Adventure to tell you a little bit about our shop. The Skyline 6 Adventure Shop has limited edition series merch that I really think you should check out. We worked really hard on these designs, including our pop art mugs, our born to build line. We have some spring vibes. You should definitely check it out. If any of this interests you, Link is down below in the description. Smooth out the road, do the train the best of my ability. I will be putting some fences here when I detail. I've also smoothed out the terrain around the castle. When we go ahead and we put some nice plants and a vineyard and whatever else here, it'll really look lively. I've also hooked up the train, the train. I've also hooked up the bridge over the train. And I know I said I was gonna bring you back once that road was done, but I thought I'd bring you back and let you watch me try and put the road in here. All 
All right, so I have that connected, but I want to take a look at this because if the slope's too high, people aren't going to make it up. Six point seven. I think it's doable. One thing I am going to do again is make these two as close to height as possible. So that actually means I'm going to be setting the slope to seven. Trucks probably won't be able to make it up, but cars should be able to. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to smooth this out. We'll be right back. All right, it is all smoothed out. I'm going to hit play, see if I can get anyone to drive up there. We'll take our first drive along this road. Then I'm going to put a city in. We're going to pop some of these buildings. We're going to build the park. And then we're going to detail. This wedding venue is going to be absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to start by placing in a couple of buildings, primarily restaurants that I think would go really well or some really important buildings that I think belong in this area. I'm also going to put in a small waterfront with some boats and a marina. People can uh, go boating, bring in their boats, like I've said before. And then I believe I'm going to use European suburbia to fill in the rest of these small villas. Uh, but we'll see when we get there. I like to change my mind. So let's go ahead and get this going. All right, so I decided that I wanted to um, place these naturally, allow them to fill in and see what we get. The lie detector determined that was a lie. But I did put a couple important things. We have a nice public library. We have a sidewalk cafe. We have a sauna because it is a vacation destination. Let's have a yoga garden. We have kind of a little public works area, right? A little safety area. We got a fire station, police station, medical center. And then because of the way that the game works, I do an elementary school here, which is fine. Over here, I also have some uh, commercial. I got a sidewalk restaurant, got a drugstore, which actually is a cafe, but it's called a drugstore. That's fine. And I got this nice crab shack tourism restaurant, as well as a little tiny fresh seafood walk-up cart. I also took the sub building from Market, the old Market Street, and put that there, which I love. And of course, we got a little pub here so people can have a good time out and about. So one of the things I want to put on the waterfront is the marina. I understand that it's going to want a road. We'll get in there in a minute, I promise. I also want a jet ski rental because it is a, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a tourism destination. Let them, let them have jet ski. So I've never been a big fan of how high these buildings are off the ground. We're gonna knock it down a little bit. So at least people only have to take one step up. Actually, I'm going to move this just over here a bit. Down. Perfect. I will add the roads in a little bit. This one as well. Let's get this moved over and down. So people have an easier time. Ooh, why in the world would you put graffiti on a jet ski rental? Oh, I do not like that. I reset it to an option. Hope oh, it's just built in. Cool. All right, so I want to build out a little bit more here. So I was in the sub buildings earlier. And before I had kind of built my own in my practice, I had built my own marina using, um, gosh, cars. 
uh, using pathways, but I found a sub building that I liked a lot more. Pretend that doesn't say boat hotel, but I do want to park some boats. I've seen this one before. I like this one. I like this ship. It's pretty neat. Go ahead, let me see. Yeah, I want it that way. Party boat. Look at this. It's coming along so nicely. So now let's run a pathway along the waterfront. Oh, that looks very nice. Just for giggles. I want to see what the general slope is. Okay. That's not bad at all. It's a nice little walkway on the waterfront. And then we'll add some decorations and definitely some detailing here in a minute. I'm going to boost it this node up just a little bit. Imagine this, I changed my mind. Big surprise, big surprise. I did turn to some of you over at the City of Friends Discord and I got a little bit of help because I was struggling. The European suburbia buildings were just not quite cutting it for me. So I'm gonna spend some time doing some plopping of buildings and I think I'm gonna like it a lot better. Okay, so I think after a lot of finicky, I think I've gotten this area built out the way I want it. Of course, not decorated yet, but at least built out. Starting off with the nice sub building here from the old market. Working our way into some more traditional of the European vanilla style builds. Wrapping around to the area where you go up to the castle. And then into some more modern heart of Korea. Mixed in with, of course, this nice old style inn. And they taper off down into more single family style villas. I'm pretty happy with that. I actually think it looks pretty nice. I think once I can get everything all built up in there and get a nice little area to hang out, I'll be extremely happy. But at least with the buildings, I think it fits a lot more of my theme. I'm also okay with having this more of the single family style over here. Um, Cause it kind of builds up into that area, which I'm a fan of. So let's keep going. We're gonna build out this park. And then we are going to detail it up. Let's start off by putting a nice lake here in the center. And I am going to connect it with some pathways. I understand that this needs road access. I'll get to that in a minute. I'm probably just going to sneak road access in here. Like I've done before other build, so I'm just gonna take this little tiny rural road, as small as I can possibly get it, drag it there. I'm gonna put it there. There's probably gonna be some issues with crash. That's okay. We'll figure it out. I just want how absolutely beautiful it is to be the centerpiece of this park. Now let's finish building the paths. All right, so I've been finished building the pathways. I really like it. Let's go in here and detail up this park. This will be the first part of detailing for this episode. And I'm so excited. Our new section by section. It's going to be great. I think it's going to look so so good. Here we go. So let's go ahead and let's make a little bit of a forest brush. I uh, made a filler brush. So this is what this brush is going to look like. 
we're just going to kind of fill this area with a nice mix of these trees. I think this little park area might be complete. Oh, 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 I love it. So now I have an idea. I think right here, I want to hide a little outlook. As we go along, I'm going to put some little benches. And of course, I got to stick in at least, at least two porta potty sections. And of course, what am I missing? A trash can. Because if you don't supply trash cans, people will just throw their stuff everywhere. All right, people are already using it. Ooh, let's watch. Nice little hidden hiking spot. The beautiful view of the water. This just in, we have breaking news. We are headed down to the new area. Your water pump truck has been stuck sideways on the road with backed up traffic. Pedestrians and Sims have started becoming so annoyed with the pump truck, they have began phasing to avoid traffic backups. Back to the studio. Oh, I'm gonna do it right here. Even better. Look at that. Oh, you did such a good job, Brad. And so I think I'm gonna leave this space pretty much open. Kind of like a park. Um, I guess I could technically make it a park, um, but to give waterfront access people, um, I guess if I really wanted to, I could add a whole nother row of housing, um, but I don't really feel like it. I think it looks nice just being open like this. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty of this waterfront. Right, let us decorate up this area. Come in together. I just wish that these. Okay, well, I can make them smaller, so does that mean that I can drop them more? Nope. Weird. All right, well, I guess you're gonna stay like that. All right, so I think that this area is pretty much complete. Come along pretty well. This kind of does feel empty, but I'm still leaning on the side of leaving it. If any of the other builders want to add a little bit of flair to this area, by all means, feel free. All yours. We're gonna follow the contours of this road and give this road some guardrails. If you're looking for a mod that will do this easier, I highly recommend Intersection Marking Tool. Intersection Marking Tool, basically, you can actually select the network and it will do fences, trees, bushes, whatever you need. So the guardrails are complete on our road. So now I want to cover some of this ruining with trees and shrubs so it looks nicer. I could put some decals on, but I'd rather just cover it with shrubs and trees and bring you back once that is done. That's looking really nice. Let me see if I can catch a car going up there.
Okay, so I cleaned up a couple of those little bush areas, but overall, I think as long as you don't get, like, real and close, you can't tell that these are floating off the ground. But I am not unhappy. So the next thing I'm gonna do is line this street. I want to line it with pink cherry blossoms and pink bushes. I think it'll be beautiful. I'm gonna try something a little crazy here. I know this looks weird, but I promise it'll actually look super interesting by the time I'm done. I just gotta trust the process. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh my God. Those are a smidge too big. Okay, there we go. Also, I want the density pretty thick. Because what I really want, I want it to look natural that there's some trees right here going into kind of where we've made our, um, <clears throat> like our vineyard. Now, of course, I want to be careful because we do have a train. Fill that in nicely. The places that they don't fill in. I'm gonna take the brush. I'm gonna put them one by one in. Well, look at that. That looks so nice. I have no idea that those were just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of decals. So let's go ahead and get this vineyard going. Oh, see, those are beautiful. Ooh. Yeah, let's do those. Awesome. I am not too disappointed by this. Wish they were a little bushier, but I am not going to change the plants. There's really no easy way to do that. So the last thing I'm going to do, other than stare beautifully at these flowers, I'm going to build the wedding venue. First thing I want to do is I want to take shrubs. I want to mark off that area because while it is a part of this property. Only select people go down there. It's gonna be the workers. I take great care of them. Time to build out this wedding venue. So at this side is going to be the archway. Then that'll be facing everyone here. Now, the last thing I want to do for this aisle, I want to create a nice heart. for the couple to walk through. Beautiful, look at that. All right, let's get some chairs in here. Beautiful. Not my favorite, but it is what it is. I'm going to line this side. 
some red flowers and same with this side. Perfect. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love it. The next part of a wedding is the parte. So over on this side, I'm gonna get more of the cobblestones. We're gonna make a nice little party area. We're going to need a little bit of protection. By the way, there is some separation between the ceremony and the arte. Perfect. We'll have some nice table settings here. People to sit at. Let's bring them a little closer because it's a wedding and no one is given proper table space. Thing. All right, let's figure out what I want to do for the bride and groom. I mean, this wooden table is not bad. Okay, now let me move this forward a little bit. Oh, they're gonna have like the crappiest chairs known to man because there are no chairs. That's okay. I want some standing lights. That's stadium light. Ooh. You know what? I want this LED screen behind the couple. Sorry, plants. But that's pretty cool. And then over here, we'll have a little setup for some live music. We've got a nice little dance area, nice performance area, centerpieces. Perfect. Oh, look at this, that's so cute. But I think that that is probably complete. I am not at all disappointed by this. I wanted to try and line this with bushes, but every time I did, it crashed. And I would rather play than have a crash. Oh, love it. Well, that was my turn with the Skyline 6 European Adventure save. And before I get to go again, we have 10 guest builders. Before we get to the guest builders, I'm passing my save off to Joy Build Cities. And you know what amazing things that she can do. So make sure you are here at the same time, same place next week. And I'll see you then. Let's take a look around the city.